What up, G? This is Stone Parkhouse Gaming, and uh, I'm in a pretty good mood right now. Just got done listening to a little bit of, a little bit of, sweet number one. Had some Canon and D. And ooh, I, I forgot to trunks, listen to to some uh, Midnight Sonata. Sonata. As well as a crate of Here's how to we were also listening Find to a little bit of the opening the right for, to Mishima. Still haven't seen that movie, but classical music. Don't know if you're into it, but every once in a while, maybe you should uh, stray from the norm, you know? Get out there, talk to somebody that's a little bit different than you. Talk to somebody that's a lot different than you. Get some perspective in life. You know, go outside your comfort zone. Get a little bit of culture. It's a, it's a big world out there. There's lots of beauty in it, too. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll catch myself talking a little bit like Bob, Bob Ross. I've been watching some Bob Ross with my oldest daughter. She she loves to draw. And it's, it's relaxing, you know? Something a little bit older, a little bit different, you know? Listen to somebody that has a positive attitude and smiles. You know, it'll, it'll put you in a good mood. Try being one of those people. It, it'll help you out. It'll help everybody else out in life. So everybody will be want to be around you, which isn't great for somebody like me because I don't want to be around anybody. <laughs> which is why I sit here and do stuff like this. So we got a freeze over here. Let's see just how far he's gonna push it with I uh, <laughs> pushing it as a freeze. It means. Basically, how dumb can you be and still win? <laughs> it's a Frieza. You, <laughs> you don't have to use your brain, so. Your allies knocked out. Can you save them? Well, I was talking about it a little bit in the last video, but Christmas is right around the corner. It just seemed like it snuck up on it by this year. I don't know. Even my kids are like, eh, Christmas is already so almost here? What? Yeah, time just flying by. Everybody's super busy this year. Which is good for, you know, being productive and not stationary and getting something done in life, I guess. But Oh, we got somebody over here to rescue. Sinzu Bean! Everybody loves a good Sinzu Bean. Boy, don't you wish you had them in real life. We wouldn't have any need for Hofstede. Well, according to most video game theories, hospitals should be stocked full of energy drinks. That's what heals people. <laughs> I don't see how you can get shot, you know, 17 times and just drink an energy drink and be fine. But video game logic? Okay. I mean, at least in this one's like... You have this change power, you know, you can basically amp your body up beyond into, what, copy some hero somehow. They never really specify how, but somehow. And you can get your ass kicked all day because, you know, they can survive way more for some reason. Yeah, I heard him around somewhere, I think he was chasing that guy down there, but... It's not like he, yeah, he's right there. Too, okay? But he's not gonna check in here. It's stuck down. See where he's at? He just flew right by. He's a Frieza. <laughs> he's not gonna do some. You know, he's not gonna use his brain and like blow up a building and check what's inside. I don't even know if Frieza mains even use headsets. That's something you need to hear direction. But. Apparently, you don't need to as a Frieza, so, to be fair. Oh, I just love when my headset shuts on me, and judging by my last video and the volume, I guess, over here that I'm seeing, yeah, I, I need to talk a little bit louder. I was tired as hell last night. I'm sitting over there just muttering to myself, trying to do the commentary. 
Nobody wants to hear all that. I was listening to... I was watching the video this morning. I'm like, the fuck was I doing last night? Anyways, back to the whole video game logic. You know, at least after you get knocked out of your change form, you're in your regular guy form. You're in your, you know, Jim Bob, Joe Bob, Jeff, fucking average Joe over here. You got a barrier that, like, protects you from dying, and you get hit by anything, you're going to fucking die. So, you know, big explosion next to you, big laser to the face. Yeah. yeah. Quote, unquote, knockout, I guess. I guess that's... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, it is a video game. You know, it's got to have video game mechanics. Can't be... If you, Imagine if you made this... Realistic. Nobody'd play it. Nobody. Nobody want to play it at all. It's like you'd just be running around. Like ah, as soon as you, as soon as you see guy, you're dead. Just dead. He, he gonna laser you. Maybe blow your arm off. You bleed out. Be crawling and shit for like half the match. Be like twenty minutes later, you bleed out and you're dead. Or he just shoots you. He doesn't need to like finish you off. You know. Because that would finish you off. There, there would just be no... <laughs> yeah. This is like hyper real. There would just be no survival for the civilians. A being like that. Like, what, what are you, <laughs> you going to do? Salvation Army going to come to town and tickle them? Imagine being that powerful. Like, you would not give any fucks about anything. I mean, it would it would be hard to It'd be like you know trying to give a shit about the daily life of an ant, you know. Oh, I just made a realization. My <laughs> the reason why my headset shut off earlier, and probably why I sound different now. <laughs> I had the setting switch to my controller. Uh, I just. <laughs> Really wish that was not an option. I really hate the fact that there's a built-in mic into the controller and it is even an option. It's like, dude, use a regular mic. That is... The built-in mic is horrible in every way you can think of. Ah, it just kind of pisses me off. I mean, at least it was useful in some sort of way. Like, if I'm a dumbass and forget to switch... Which wouldn't even be a thing anyways. I wouldn't have to switch. If I'm like, yeah, it's it's not working. You know, I could see that it's not recording shit. Not that, oh, you don't have it switched to your headset even though it's on your fucking face. But it's recording because, you know, you constantly have a recording device. Whether you want to or not. So when you're sitting there playing a game... And you're in a lobby full of random people, and you're sitting there talking shit about how terrible they are. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, w why is he over here doing this? And dude's like, oh, I'm doing it because of this. I'm like, well, yeah, then you can, you, then you can start your argument. Talk about how fucking dumb he is. Nah, I, <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not one to like shit on somebody because they're doing stupid. Well. <laughs> I take that back. If it's my friends, I will. If they know, if I know they know better, then yeah, I'm gonna say some shit. Man, we are just kicking this raider's ass. Look at that shit. Oh yeah, we're gonna get yeah, <laughs> get right back into the game right here. Come on, buddy. This is gonna end a lot sooner than I think. I'm just over here running my mouth. I always do that when I do my commentary. Then we get to the good shit. There we go. He didn't even get into... Yeah, he didn't get to four. Yeah, but like I said before, I'm not going to talk shit to you about what you're doing if you're fucking up. Unless I know you know better. And by the way, if you think I should just shut up more on the commentary and just you want to see more of the gameplay or... You enjoy it, whatever. Just leave me a comment. Let me know. But this is Stone with Parkhouse Gaming. Keep up the hustle.